guys, what's up? It's me, John here, or Cheesy GFX. So, um, I'm going to tell you how um, I like to set up my intros. Now, this is just one part of how to make a full intro, so stay subscribed if you want to see the whole thing. Let's get into this. So, first thing, we have a plain kind of thing. You can download Lightrooms and uh, map packs, material packs online. I have a really one, I have one that I really like. It's a called texture pack by this if there are any plugins missing I wouldn't worry about that see I already made my you jelly intro where it has some really nice looking textures in it so um, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna delete everything from my previous intro and um, yeah we can move on so usually these come with a camera but uh, you can delete that camera it's not necessary uh, to uh, have so I it's like about here that the camera was at and um, first thing that we are going to want to do is we are going to want to hit mo graph and mo text now most I'm assuming most people have common knowledge of this so this is for a real guys intro um, Let's see, what does he want it to say? He says, Ray and James Games. Okay, so I'm going to do Ray and James. And then I'm going to do Games on the bottom half. So it looks like this. Now what you want to do here is first we want to get a way better font. This font looks completely ugly. If you really are looking for one, I recommend this one called Couture. I think that's how you pronounce it. Go to defont.com and you can find a bunch of different fonts where they categorize it and a lot of things and it just makes it really easy to find fonts. So I'm just centering this out. Yeah, um, it looks about right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower the horizontal spacing. Now this is the spacing in between the letters. Now you can see, you can kind of estimate, this seems about right. Now the vertical spacing is a little much for me. That's the uh, space between Ray and James and Games. So yeah, I'm just gonna adjust everything to what I feel is um, right on this. There we go, so that seems a little more centered. So now what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to put the depth up to 60. I'm going to go actually 70. Any range between 60 and 70 is good for most intros. You can have thinner text, but it's it's totally up to you. So um, now that we have this, I'm going to put on this shiny purple text because that's what he wanted. So, uh, But when I do this, I'm going to hit Control c and control V on that text. Now that will copy and paste it. Now I'm gonna hit backspace on the inch on this text, the uh, mo text one. And what I want to do is I'm going to put on a little bit of a lighter purple. So see here, there's my lighter purple. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna go to the caps tab and change the cap to fill it. I'm gonna change that for both of them. Now, um, the fillet basically makes it so it's like the outline of the text. Now, if I uh, render this out really quick, you can see how the outline of the text is a nice, um, it's a lighter color than the other one. So, but you see how it kind of pops out of the text a little bit. Some people like this, but for mine, I'm going to turn it down a tiny bit. I'm going to turn the pop out of it, the depth of the thing down to like two so not a ton now I'm gonna go back to my uh, object and I'm going to turn the depth down on this is the outline I'm gonna turn the depth down to probably 50 yeah I, you can adjust as you go so what I'm gonna do is here yeah it's like this and here let me zoom in here so I'm just using my scroll wheel to uh, zoom in so, um, here, oops, there we go. So now I can see it pretty good. Oh, here, that's the wrong text. I want to be selecting this one. Okay, 
So I'm going to put it more or less, it doesn't have to be exact really, unless you're really picture perfect, you have to have exact. So now it's in the middle of the text, which is really nice. So I'm going to back out here. Um, there we go. So for this intro, I'm going to, now this is just the basics. So this is what you have here. So, one more thing I'm going to have to uh, show you guys. Uh, actually, before we do that, I'm actually going to see how I made this, the pop-out. I'm going to change the pop-out back up to 4, because, I don't know, if you have this kind of side little depth like I'm doing, you kind of want to have it pop out a bit. See, that looks really nice. So, um, now what I'm going to do is click this. Uh, actually, first I'm going to select both of them, and I'm going to right-click them and hit uh, Group Objects. Another way you can select them if they're not, if one's like here, if one's like on the other side of the lights, you can hit Control, click on one, and then click on the other, and it'll select them both. Now, I'm going to hit Group Objects, Group Objects, and it'll change into this thing named Null. I'm just going to... I'm gonna rename this by clicking it twice to uh, to um, combined text. Now, usually I don't really name anything, but I'll state do it for this tutorial to stay organized. So now I'm gonna select our anchor point, which is this one right here, and I'm gonna drag it to the center. There we go. So now our anchor point is moved so now we can rotate either direction and onto this so it doesn't look funny now um there is one here I, I think I, there okay um there's one thing that uh, a lot of people do wait what am I talking about um uh, you can't here take back what I just said so um some people, they keyframe before they set their anchor point, and once they do that, it it's really hard to do things because your text will be flying all over the place, and trust me, I've done it before. It was on the You Jelly intro. I accidentally did it, and it kind of messed a few things up how the text got together. So, um... Yeah, that's pretty much it for the basics of setting up your text in uh, this tutorial. I will uh, teach you other things in upcoming tutorials. See you all later. Bye.